Hi guys, thanks for joining me today. I'm Marilyn and my channel's Making with Marilyn. Now I do all things crafty, but on today's video, I'm gonna do a project I've never done before. And that is to add some transparent rhinestones over a shirt that I sublimated. So if you're interested in seeing that process or seeing some new stones on the market, then keep watching the video. Now I sublimated this shirt earlier today and this is a shirt that I just got at Walmart. I love v-neck shirts. I love kind of thin t-shirts. I don't like the thick bulky ones. This one's 92% polyester and 8% spandex. So I assumed it'd be okay to sublimate on, but just to make sure, I did a really small emblem on the sleeve. Well, it came out beautifully, so I put it on the front. Now, one way to take an inexpensive t-shirt to the next level is by adding rhinestones. Well, I don't have any of these gold stones. I don't have this maroon color. So what was I to do? I can add transparent rhinestones. Now, the baby booty, she has a YouTube channel and an online store, and I'll link to both of those in the video description. She does a rhinestone buy-in toward the end of almost every month. And so the buy-in just started last night, and I'm going to show you a couple of products that you can get now. Now, these are new. You can see it's in this nice storage container. It matches storage containers if you've bought from her before. And that's nice because you can put them on the shelf and they all look alike. Now this is a new product. This is called an ice pick. What an ice pick is, it's a product where you can pick five colors of rhinestones. And then inside your ice pick, the five colors that you selected are in what she calls ice chips. Now there's three products in there that are new for this buy-in, so that's what we're gonna focus on tonight. And actually, we're gonna focus on the transparent ones. But I also wanted to show you, these are called Emerald AB. And AB stands for Aurora Borealis, and that's just a beautiful kind of iridescent coating on the top. I'm gonna to do something with these very soon. But for today, we're gonna to focus on these. So the one in my left hand, these are transparent. And they're just clear, you see right through them. Now the other ones are also considered transparent or they're called transparent, but they are transparent AB. So they have that AB coating on them and that gives you a much different look. So one thing that you can do with these is put them on a sublimation image and your color's going to show through. So here's the two parts of my rhinestone design. Now I could have done the whole thing in one color, but I wanted some of the transparent and I wanted some of the transparent AB. And so the way I decided was I printed out just a really small part of my design on a white piece of polyester and I pressed a few of the transparent, I pressed a few of the transparent AB, and I pressed some of them on the gold, some on the maroon. And what I found was the transparent ones looked best on the maroon. And I thought the ABs, wait till you see them on this gold, I thought it just brought out a beautiful, beautiful color. Now, because this is sublimation ink, I'm going to go ahead and put some butcher paper between the front and back of my shirt. Okay, so let me go ahead and clean off any debris or extra fibers that might be on here. And then I'm going to start with the inside design first. Now, I made this design in Silhouette Business Edition. If you're interested in seeing any design tutorials, I do have some on my channel. So you can check those out. Now, this is my first time to do rhinestones and sublimation together. 
So I plan to start adding some of that to my channel as well. Now they won't always be with the transparent or the transparent AB rhinestones. Sometimes I'll use the stones that match the color of what I've pressed. All right, so I'm just lining that out and smoothing out my shirt as much as possible. Again, this is my first time to do this. So if it doesn't turn out perfect, it is still going to turn out beautiful. I have no doubt in that. Okay, so a nice thing about the Baby's Booty products is she always puts a label on and she tells you how to heat these up. And so far, everything I've gotten from her says 350 for 12 seconds. Now, she also wants you to preheat your shirt. It'll smooth it out. It'll take out excess moisture. And of course, I preheated it before I did my sublimation. And I did my sublimation just a little bit ago. So I think I'm good. Now my press is getting up to heat. And this is one of the pads that comes off of it. Now, unfortunately, I got some sublimation ink on it a while back, so I'm putting a piece of paper down so that the sublimation ink doesn't get or doesn't sublimate to the back of my shirt. And then since I'm not going to take the camera over to the press, I'm going to show you right here how I get it ready. I'll press it and I'll bring it back over here before I peel the top off. Now, I do like to have my collar hanging off the top of the pad because when you press the collar, you can get kind of a different sheen and a different texture on it. All right, but I do need to make sure that all of my design will get pressed really well. So this is barely above that pad. So let me go press this 12 seconds. I'll be right back. All right, this is exactly how it came off the press. I have not even snuck a peek at this, sneaked a peek at this. I haven't looked at it. All right, I'm gonna make sure I had heat up there so that I knew they stick. And let's go ahead and peel this away. Oh my goodness, look at those. Look, ooh, those are hot. Look at how those took on the gold of the sublimation. That's beautiful. Now, rhinestones and bling never behaves in camera lights. You just don't really see the beauty as well as I do. But hopefully you're getting a beautiful bling show from that. All right, let's do the second layer or the outside ring, that's beautiful by itself. Honestly, I would not even need to put bling on this maroon, but I'm going to. All right, give me a minute to adjust these because I'm going to need my head straight over this to make sure they're in the right place. And you don't want to look at the back of my head. So I'll go ahead and adjust this and then I'll show you what it looks like before I press it. All right, there it is. All right, once again, I'm seeing this for the first time when you do. Now, don't wind this transfer tape up. You can reuse this. Just put it right back on the backing it came off of. All right, let's go ahead and get this paper out. 
and I don't see any sublimation ink on it, but I still think I would always put something between just to be safe. All right, isn't that beautiful? That is just incredible. I love how this turned out. Let me see if I can find my little sample piece and show you what I meant when I was talking about how I chose what to put where. Okay, here it is. So I'm just going to put this up to the camera and what you see, let me just point to it, what you see right here on this yellow, that is the transparent. And then what you see over here on the yellow, that's the transparent AB. And so that's why I decided to use it on my gold. Then what you see here on the maroon, that's also the transparent AB. And then right back here, that was the transparent with no AB coating on the maroon. So the combination I went with was transparent AB on the gold, transparent on the maroon. And I really feel like that was the best decision for this shirt. Now, a very, very special thank you to the baby's booty for letting me try these out and letting me show these off. I am hooked. Then also this week, I plan to do a project with these Emerald ABs, since this is also a new product for this buy-in. So thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you found something really interesting in this video or you just enjoyed watching it. If you did, please remember, give me that thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, please do that and then tap that bell. Make sure that you have the all notifications selected. That way YouTube lets you know anytime I upload new content. One more look at this and then we're done. So thanks again for joining me and until my next video, bye bye.